Hello Hyperledger Global Forum attendees, my name is Jen. I'm the founder of Vertical Method Posture Fitness in San Francisco, and I have designed a posture break for the blockchain community to stay healthy and active throughout the conference. When you take a break during the conference, make it a posture break, and together we'll make an effort to circulate, regenerate, and align your body. Well, Hyperledger Global Forum attendees, here we are ready for our posture stretch, and I would like you to have two things. Two props. Prop number one, a wall. So find a wall where you have some space, where you can have some space to really extend your arms out. The other thing I'd like you to have is a belt. So it, it could be a leather belt, it could be a yoga belt, any sort of belt, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna use this uh, soft yoga belt, but um, whatever you got, whatever you can find. Um, and it should be the length of, if I were to measure it, across my chest, like armpit to armpit here, that's about how long it should be. So, wall, belt, and we'll get started. Hi, first thing we're gonna do is a hip stretch. So, I want you to measure two feet off the wall, heel to toe and heel to toe, front foot off to the side, back foot right next to it, knees over ankles. Then, we're gonna line up your hips, your ribs, your shoulders, and the most difficult one, your head. Oof. Tuck the chin, feel length through the back of the neck and length through the low back. Press into your heels and feel how you activate the back body. We're getting some circulation through those big glute muscles. Walk the feet together. Now, find your balance. Press one foot into the ground while the other knee comes up. Ankle over knee. And then we're gonna take your head and shoulders off the wall Press your hips into the wall, press one knee away, and you get a stretch through one side as you ground the other side. Keep your chest lifted, and then we'll do the other side. Come on up, bring that foot down, find your blocks, stack those blocks, and your blocks are your hips, your ribs, your shoulders, and your head. Other side, press into the heel of the standing foot and bring the opposite knee up. Ankle over knee. Then ground yourself by pressing into that standing leg. Push your hips into the wall. Push the knee down. Chest stays open. One side will always be tighter than the other. One side will always be more stable than the other. That's normal. Come on back up. Widen the feet again. Okay, that's block one. On to block two. Now I'm gonna use the belt to find your posture shelf. Yes, your posture shelf. It's a shelf through the back of your ribs where you can feel how your posture just slides into place when it's in place. So this is how we're gonna find it. We're gonna take your belt and we're going to put it on like a backpack right over your elbows. Then I'm gonna have you at the top of your arm where your arm fits into your shoulder socket, I want you to externally rotate and then hug the elbows towards the side of your body. Hands are in front, and this is what it's gonna look like from the side. As you press into your heels, I want you to send the bottom of your rib cage back into the belt so that it feels kind of tight. So again, a lot of people, we kind of stand with our legs locked and forward, but when you shift the back of your rib cage into the belt, you create a shelf that your shoulders can slide right onto. So now we're going to practice some mobility using your posture shelf. So back to the wall, always building one block on top of the other. So we already did our hip stretch. So find that position, hip shoulders, head, and then get the feeling of the posture shelf. So slide that rib cage back till the belt tightens, and then we'll lose the belt. Lose the belt so we can do our mobility exercises. So lengthen through the low back, we're gonna open, Ooh, and send the base of that rib cage back, and close, and again. You can keep the belt on, but I think if you get the feel for it, you don't have to. And then we're gonna go into these two 90 degree angles with our arms, and try to keep, oh again, you might really release your rib cage, but imagine that belt Send the rib cage back. It really lengthens the low back. And then we're gonna close. We'll try it again. 
not easy to do. Extend the arms, bend, close, working that posture shelf. So you're gonna send that rib cage back. Go ahead and extend the arms out. Bring it back to a 90 degree. Bring that rib cage back. Now, you do as many as you can. You wanna feel how you're lengthening the back body, activating these muscles that get quiet from your desk posture, pressing into your heels, re-energizing this kinetic chain, get the mobility through the arms and you'll feel those back muscles activate. You can bend, which is a little easier, or straighten, reactivating that kinetic chain. All right, on to shoulders. So overactive pec muscles create underactive trap muscles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse that using mobility. So back to the wall, two feet, three points of connection. Always start at the base with your hips, then find that rib cage so challenging. Get your posture shelf, send the rib cage back to the wall, shoulders and head, you got your three points of connection. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up those arms just right where we left off. We're gonna reach up and try to get your thumbs on the wall. Now, shrug your shoulders as high as you can and feel how you lift your shoulders right off your rib cage. Then exhale and drop them down. From here, we're gonna do our next mobility exercise for your shoulders. And I need you to take off your watch if you have a nice watch because you will scratch it. And we're gonna externally rotate top of each arm. Keep the chin tucked, push into the heels, get the rib cage back. You're gonna make a snow angel and you're gonna reach all the way out. Now, as your hands go up and over, shoulders down. And then all the way back around. So I do feel that the back of my wrists are touching the wall reach. Now, as you reach your hands overhead, this is where it gets challenging. Your shoulders are going to want to come with you, but you're going to send them down as your wrists go up. And you will feel these muscles activate. This is so important. Actually, activation through the back body will help to release the pec muscles. We're going to do two more. So you have your external rotation, tuck your chin best you can, and press into your heels, Keep that back body active, find the rib cage, send it to the wall as you go up and over. Last one, such a good one. But don't just start with this one. You wanna start with your hips, go to your rib cage, and then get to your shoulders. Okay, time for our fourth block of weight, the head. We wanna lengthen the back of the neck, just like we've lengthened the low back. This is what we're going to do. Put one hand on my chin. I'm gonna send my chin into the back of my neck and lengthen the low back. And when I do push my heels into the wall at the same time, so I can get length through the low back and the back of the neck. I'll move this arm out of the way so you can see. Exhale. Length through the low back and through the low back and the back of the neck. And again. If you feel some tightness here, well, it's good that we're working on this muscle down here. When you strengthen the opposing muscle group, you will release some of the tightness. So, one more time. Exhale, I'm gonna lengthen the low back and the back of the neck together. Sending the top of my head up and my chin in. One more time. Top of the head goes up, chin goes in. Length through the back of the neck and the low back at the same time. As the conference goes on, hopefully you can jump right to this combination. Find that posture shelf and here's our combination. I'm gonna have you walk your feet together and you're gonna bring up one knee, ankle over knee. Then we're gonna do your hip hinge. Exhale, Superman, hand goes up. Back to the wall. Find those three points of connection, bring that rib cage back, and then we'll do our snow angel. Elbows, we're gonna do it again. Exhale, Superman, hands go up. Remember, shoulders are down. Back to the wall, 
and we'll circle around. We'll do the other side, always starting with that posture shelf, ankle over knee, little hip hinge, draw the shoulders down as the hands go up into your Superman position, length through the back of the neck and the low back, back to the wall, circle around, bend the elbows, hip hinge, shoulders go down as the hands go up, exhale, reach into that Superman position, realign on the wall, and our last one, exhale, as you send your shoulders down and your hands up, Superman, circle back around. When you're done, you'll hip hinge, bring yourself up off the wall, press into your feet, and feel how you stack each block all by yourself, pressing into the ground, keeping that nice strong back body and open chest. My posture break is available to all attendees of the Hyperledger Global Forum, and I will be available for questions throughout the conference June 8th through 10th.